Next question is from Aaron Kirsch7. How do you explain the importance of rest periods to the hit driven client? I used to, this was a constant conversation oh, yeah. with people, yeah. right? Um, and, you know, I would get into the whole, you know, energy systems of the body. You know, if you're, if you're, if you're constantly exercising, not taking breaks, <laughs> you're trying to explain it's, the crib cycle. Yeah. It's, like, it's yeah. glycolytic and, yeah. you know, and you're just building endurance. You're not building the adaptation that we want, which is strength and muscle to speed up the metabolism. That's why taking rest is so important, which is, which is all uh, very, very true. Um, here's the deal. Uh, what is your goal with your workouts? Mm -hmm. Is your goal to burn as many calories as possible during the time you're working out? Or is the goal to cause a favorable adaptation for your body? Okay, two separate things. If you just want to burn calories, then don't take any rest periods. Keep moving yeah. and make it intense. Just move constantly. Yeah, that'll burn the most calories. In which case, I'd say there's no reason to do hit with anything with, with weights, dumbbells, machines. Just sprint on a treadmill and you'll burn the most amount of calories. If your goal is to cause favorable adaptations, you want to speed up the, the metabolism, build muscle, balance out hormones... You want to shape and sculpt your body. In that case, take your rest periods and build muscle. That's it. That's the bottom line. So what's your goal? You want to burn a lot of calories in an hour? And by the way, I used to tell my clients this. Oh, you want to burn a lot of calories in an hour? There's no need to hire me. You actually don't need my expertise. I'll tell you what to do. You see that treadmill over yeah. there? Go run real hard you for jumping an hour. jacks in the sauna. And you, you don't need to work with me at all. Well, yeah. I you know, I had to battle this a lot too. And one of the things that I would I would first I've learned like like uh if you as a, a trainer, if you challenge your client all the time, especially if they're smart or they like what they're doing, they always resist, push back, or put a wall up. So a lot of times I would I would commend them for what the way they're training and say, listen, there's a lot of value in how you like to train right now. The problem is you lose a lot of that value after about four to six weeks. Our body gets very adapted to whatever modality or whatever we're doing doing like the way you're training and then the results that you like from it the burning the body fat the building muscle all that part that you enjoyed those returns start to really diminish my job as a personal trainer is to be constantly programming and switching you up so that your body is consistently seeing those results that you love so much and if we stay in this way of mm -hmm. training you're going to see very minimal results beyond that six week period of time if you want to keep the results coming we need to completely change out of this and completely changing out of it means we need longer rest periods. We need these straight sets. We need to train differently for a while. That doesn't mean we won't come back to this way of training that you love to do because there will be value here again. Yeah. You have to highlight that it's different for a reason. And, and, you know, a lot of times uh, I'll get the clients like this and they're in a plateau. They're already in a, a space where they've been doing this long term. They just want you to ramp the intensity up further. And that's why they hired you. Mm -hmm. And so to, to be able to, you know, connect with them and, and show them that, well, you know, I know this is something that had worked initially for you, but you're, you're seeing a wall you know, just to throttle down more, you know, it's only going to get us so far. Why don't you trust me? And, and we're going to try something completely different. Uh, it's going to be, you know, hard, you know, mentally to get through this. That's what I'm here for. Uh, but honestly, you know, we need to build up your strength. We need to focus on building muscle and that takes rest. And so we have to include this in our workouts. Yeah. It's those clients that want, they don't realize this is what they want, but they just want a boot camp instructor just to yell at them to keep them uh, motivated. You know, I used to, I, I would see trainers like this. They were good at that. Mm -hmm. And I could, I would predict, oh, get three, four months, that client's not going to come back or they're going to burn out or they're going to get injured. They're going to plateau real hard. And they'd have these huge turnover of clients. They'd be real good at that. Ah, yell at you push hard. Come on, you can do it. In fact, you'd see them in the gym. That's basically what they would do. They'd just torch them. Yeah. And, and see you later. And you'd see this huge turnover of clients, you know, except for the one or two occasional, like, you know, gluttons for punishment. They just have this huge turnover. The trainers that were successful were the ones that understood that their value was not in the, you know, pushing you to maximum intensity all the time. That does not last. I mean, look, here's the deal. Burning calories manually is hard fucking work. I mean, I if I told you to dig a, a 10-foot hole, could you do it with a teaspoon? You could, but why wouldn't you use a backhoe? You, you have a backhoe accessible. Just use that. You're going to dig that hole and you know, 10 minutes instead of being out here for the next two weeks trying to dig, uh, you know, this, this big hole. Like, can you burn calories manually to cause weight loss? You could. Boy, it's a lot of work, though. You're going to be doing hours and hours and hours a day for the rest of your life in order to do that. Why don't we teach your body? Why don't we just teach your body to do that for you so that you can, you know, sit down, enjoy a movie with your kids, hang out, and your metabolism is a hot furnace mm. burning calories. That's what rest periods building strength and Become muscle does. Become the backhoe. <laughs> Absolutely. Become yeah, the backhoe. There's lots of meaning there.